Howdy, howdy, everybody. This is Tommy with Colonel Rev Scale Models coming at you with a quick, um, I guess, reminder video, but also just a little bit more information on our um, Deformed Cartoon Group Build 2021 that Papa Dan and I are hosting. Just wanted to show some other kits. Um, if you haven't seen uh, Munchkin Modeling Man 72's video uh, of an Ed Roth kit that he is going to build, which is kind of, which is cartoony, so it qualifies. There's other kits that we have come across um, and forgotten about. Um, these are some that are in my stash. Um, these are the Polar Lights kits. Now, you know, these are famous um, drag race cars, right? The Stone Woods and Cooks, and there's some some other cartoonish ones that make fun of these. Um, this, though, Ohio George. Um, these are some kits that they used to carry at Hobby Lobby. Um, as you can see, I got it on clearance a long time ago. Um, and this is actually one of the ones my son built. But while he was building it, I took the um, body because the body wasn't quite this color. Um, <clears throat> and this was actually, when I got my airbrush set up, this is actually the first one that I painted. This is using craft acrylics. And I cleared it um, after I sit, put the decals on. I cleared it with future for the first time. So this, um, all I did was the body. I didn't do anything else to it. He built the rest of it. Um, but I thought that was uh, pretty cool. And I just happened to be in his room and just know I was like, oh, that's a that's a deformed kit. So those are obviously kits that you could build. And of course, this could be detailed up a lot more to match the uh, the box art, which I think is pretty cool. Um, also in the stash, I had the, um, many of you know the Strucker McGurk. Um, it's an MPC kit. And we, well, <laughs> we kind of know what that means. Um, if you go by uh, what Charlie Mack likes to say, it's a massive pile of crap. Um, I don't know. I've, I've never built this one. Um, it's still sealed in the box. Um, I actually got it in a trade with Papa Dan when he was doing some of his, uh, we did some horse trading a while back. And this is one of the ones he got rid of. And speaking of his bills, the ones that he showed on the video that were built, um, these are some of the ones in that same line. So you got the Hawk um, um, kits that I think I picked this up at Ollie's when it first uh, came to our town several years ago. These were like $4.99, $7.99 or whatever. And these are the ones like Dan had, which are the weirdos. And this is the, the drag hag. So there's like a whole line of these that you can see um, on the side of the box. So there's tons of them and they're Pretty cool looking little kits. Um, there's been many of them built um, out there. There's a lot. Um, these are the ones that have kind of have cars and stuff in them and then, and then the football player and stuff. And then you have this series that I have. Let's see if it shows some of the ones on. Yeah, it does. Um, these are some of the ones in that series. So we got uh, Totally Fab, Frantic Banana, Steel pluckers. This is the one that I have. And then I actually started with this one, um, as you can tell. Uh, if you do one of those, <laughs> at least with this one, expect some seam work uh, all over the place with these, with those kits. Uh, but I think that's pretty cool. I, my, my idea for this one was I was going to build a, uh, a, uh, a base, a dance floor kind of out of, you know, the popsicle sticks kind of thing. Um, and I, I mean, I built that. I started working on that probably four years ago and for whatever uh, reason, just lost interest. But those are obviously um, cartoonish, of course. So those would qualify. So basically, when I was talking to Dan the other day, you know, with questions about kits that we keep um, getting, basically, I look at it as though if, if the kit is meant to be an exact replica, like any other scale model should be, then obviously it's not going to qualify. These kits, on the other hand, um, they are real cars, but the cars don't look exactly like this. I mean, the, their, their, the rims and stuff don't do that, and they don't have they don't have that cartoonish look. And obviously, these are very cartoonish in nature. And things like, you know, Stroker back here, um, kind of just funny, goofy kind of thing. So um, there's lots of kits out there probably that we haven't thought about. We've talked about a lot of them, but it, it runs a whole gamut. Um, so look through your stash. I mean, that's the one thing, that's one thing that I thought was uh, cool about uh, Daniel uh, Munchkin Modeling Man when he pulled out that Ed Roth kit is, you know, he said, you know, he's been wanting to build it and now he kind of has a reason to because he can put it in this group build. Um, so that's that's kind of why we wanted to open it up 
um, more than just the, the Ming Tune kits and the, the Tiger Models Keep Plane kit. It's just to get more builders out there involved building kits that you might have in your stash that fit the criteria for the group build that you haven't built for whatever reason. And this kind of gives you an idea or a reason to, to pull it out and, and work on it. So again, group build starts September 1st. We've already had a couple of videos up, so that's great. It runs through the 30th, but again, you finish when you finish, um, we're going to have a cutoff of the 10th, which is to get pictures to me um, on the email that we've listed. And then I'll put a slideshow together um, after that. So again, if you still, if you have questions, drop them in the comments there and I'll try to respond or Dan will watch also. And we'll try to respond as quickly as we can and look forward to everybody having some fun next month. So as always, everybody stay, stay safe out there. This COVID just doesn't seem to ever want to go away. Um, but do, do your best to stay, stay safe. As always, hotty toddy and God bless.